Welcome back. Covenant School parents entered the State Senate Gallery to voice their opposition to legislation allowing teachers to carry firearms in Tennessee classrooms. They were removed from the gallery. It felt like a tipping point. Covenant School parents, survivors, and others seeking common sense gun reform. but being ignored. Their opposition to legislation to arm teachers fell on deaf ears. Man, it is so extremely disappointing just as a mother. We're very disappointed at how things went today and we can absolutely do way better. And um, sorry, we're just really shaken up because that was uh, rattling to say the least. We're just here representing our own families, right? Uh, as mothers, as mothers of survivors. And all we can do is continue to show up and keep sharing our stories and, and hope that eventually they will listen to them and, and take our advice because we have real experience in mm -hmm. these tragedies. Mm -hmm. We are the ones who have been there and, and experienced this and lived through the aftermath of it. What is happening here is not sane. I mean, I think we'd all agree that it's not sane. This isn't healthy. Opposition from the Senate floor fell on deaf ears. This is irresponsible. The public school teachers don't even want the bill. They're not even asking you for this. This bill puts my child at risk and all the mothers out here that just got put out, they're saying their children at risk. Look at that gallery. They're asking you not to do this. Put partisan politics aside. I ask you this all the time, but this bill is dangerous. Don't do it. When the opposition got too loud, the voices were silenced. The protesters were removed from the Senate gallery. Oh, I was oh, uh, shaking. I was shaking. Yeah, I couldn't I even move, leave. Actually. This is something we've worked so yeah. hard on, and so um, I, I didn't want to be kicked out of something that I wanted to watch the vote on. I wanted to be there to experience it and to be, um, uh, you know, to have the gallery cleared was really it was upsetting. We had some people that were lined up to speak, and I believe they were lined up to speak against the bill and they couldn't be heard, and that's why I cleared the gallery. On you. On you. The Senate refused to hear the voices in the gallery, so the voices moved to the Capitol hallways. The Senate passed the legislation arming teachers. And I think the consideration of a real-world scenario, especially a teacher with a handgun leaving a classroom full of children to go and protect them from a shooter who most likely has a bigger weapon is irresponsible to say the least and then you have an entire classroom full of children that are now exposed and in danger. My child survived because the teacher kept the classroom quiet and I've continued to tell that to all of the legislature, all of those in the legislature. Um, this bill hasn't made it through the House floor yet, right? So we'll continue to work on the House this next week and hope for the best. For the second time, Covenant families were removed from a House or Senate gallery because their voices were too loud. The Senate passed legislation to arm teachers. Now it's on to the House. What do you guys do? I mean, I saw you guys talk with McNally about having you guys stay. So we leaned over to beg for him to let us stay and um, I mean begged and made eye contact and uh, he listened. He was going to let us stay but then it just felt wrong to let us remain in the gallery and then kick out everyone else because we're all here saying the same thing. We're all here asking for the same solution. I mean, if we had our way, the bill wouldn't exist in the first place and we'd be able to start from scratch and work on an entirely new bill. I understand rural communities need, if that, that don't have access to SROs, need SROs, and we are not against SROs at all. We fully believe in SROs in schools. I think our biggest issue is the teacher portion of the bill and allowing teachers who are teaching a classroom 
to also carry and also that liability portion and just parents not being able to know who in their school I mean we talk about parent choice right all the time and and parents not being able to know who in their school actually is caring and who's not I mean that's a pretty difficult thing as a parent not to not to know stay with us this week continues in a moment